Still having diarrhea. Going home today. <laughs> Doesn't want to get out of his crate. It is not even 7 a.m. yet. It's 6.45. They all had to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. All the girls, anyway. The boys are fine. So I'm calling the vet today. They've been on a bland diet for a few days, and there's still diarrhea. Little dog had a little blood in her. It wasn't even diarrhea, it was just squirts. So um, I, I don't know once we got back from Vegas, she was, ha she was having diarrhea, and then we went to the beach, and like two days later, then Misa started having diarrhea. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I'm not a vet. I don't know. Could be a plethora of things, but the bland diet's not doing anything. Oh, I just burnt myself and then threw my eggs. <laughs> anyway, the bland diet's not doing anything, so that means we go to the vet. I always try and like take a day or two. Like if I don't know the obvious problem, like I must have like throwing up blood, but I'm always like, okay. Dogs eat things they're not supposed to all the time. Their tummy just get upset for no reason. So I always try and just take a day take a couple days, especially since it was the weekend. I just kind of try and fix it myself, but can't now. So if we can't get into the vet today, we might have to go to the emergency vet, which is never fun and takes all day. So I'm hoping I don't have to do that, but we shall see. Making breakfast like I always do. All right, my mom just came in to pick up her dog and we recorded Rachel and Censored. It was actually a really good episode. I had all these things planned and we didn't do any of it because we just conversed. And those are my favorite episodes when it's just so natural or don't have to look at my notes. It's just a conversation starts and just keeps going. Those are my favorite. But now it's 4 p.m. I'm headed to the grocery store to go get more ground turkey for my girls. Abby thinks that they're having tummy issues because they've been eating the wet cat food. And so we're gonna make more of an effort to keep them away from it and just try and do a bland diet for one more day. If it doesn't work out, then we'll take them to the vet tomorrow because they are full of energy. They're eating, they're drinking. It's just the poops. Like usually when I always go to the vet when my boys decide to stop eating food. That's when I'm like, okay, that's the other indicator where they're like super lethargic, but they're high energy, they're good to go. So we'll just, we'll give it another day. Oh, uh, so I'm in, I'm out of turkey now. So we gotta get more ground. <laughs> ground turkey, I am exhausted. I was up for a while, like 3 a.m. that time, like right in the middle of sleeping. And then I wasn't gonna wake up till seven and I woke up at 6.15 because the girls woke me up again. And I was like, all right, I'm just gonna stay up because they're up, they're up now. The sun's up. I let them out to pee and poop and they're gonna stay up. So I'm just dragging my feet, man. <sighs> it's, it's getting me, it's got me. Maybe I need some espresso. Times like these, I wish. No, I never wish I'd do cocaine. I will never, I could never touch that stuff. Have you seen people on cocaine? It's not attractive. It really isn't. I started walking in the grocery store and I realized how just like filthy I look. I have dog fur and stains all over my clothes. I've given up. <laughs> I've given up. Just see ya. Okay, but I need this because it's expensive. Hi, so it's later. I got what I needed at the grocery store. Where are we going? Okay. So Abby did this a while ago and Zara and I decided we wanted to do it with her this year. This, is it the church that does it? There's a church that puts on a prom for special needs kids mm -hmm. who don't do their own prom. And apparently it's a huge thing in this town. So we've signed up for it. And tonight we have to go learn what to do. The and then training. the volunteer training. And then Friday, we're gonna go and volunteer at this thing. And it's a really cool thing apparently. But um, I'm about to go and to a church and I haven't been in one since my grandpa died. I've done chapel at college and that was not fun, um, but I haven't been into a church since my grandpa died like a billion years ago. So I just realized that. <laughs> um, hi. Oh, double tap my face and track. Track for the gods, track for the days, track my face all the ways. Track my face, track it, track my face, track it, track my face, track it. Anyway, hi, what's today? Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Trash night, <laughs> we take it all our trash, we put it on the curb and they take it away. Have my coffee done? My coffee's done. I have, fun fact, Getting I'm gonna get my Tesla serviced for the first time ever. Now, when someone backed into me, I got that fixed. But this is the first service 
servicing that I'm getting. Teslas don't have oil, so you don't need to get their oil changed, but they do have air filters and brakes and tires. So why don't I go over here? I don't need, I don't need to be over here. So I have someone coming to change the air filters because they nasty smelling. It smells. And that is actually something I could normally do myself. I've done it on my truck, as you've seen. I've changed the engine filter and the cabin filter in my truck. Ford made that very, very easy. But the Tesla, they have made it extremely difficult. They have put it, you have to take the passenger side dash off, unscrew a bunch of things, unplug a bunch of wires, take more things off, and the things you take off are connected by just like plastic clips that are extremely easy to break if you don't know exactly where you are or have the right tool. And I watched a couple of YouTube videos on it. And I'm like, okay, if my life depended on it, I could get it done. Or I could pay $60 and have, sorry, I'm stirring my coffee, and have an actual mechanic come do it. And then they could check the brake pads and the tires for me. Cause I think the tires, I think I need new tires. From my little knowledge I have, the tires are worn down. But with Tesla, you just go in the app this is not a brand deal. Oh my God, I wish it was. You go in the app and you just say schedule a repair and you say what's wrong, the date and the time. And then they send someone to your house and you just put the car in the driveway and they do it all and then they text you when they're done. They don't have to go anywhere. They don't have to do anything. It's all just convenient. And it's, they said that it's estimated it's gonna be cost me $67 to change the cabin air filters and do it once over on the car. Okay, I think that's money well spent. Please, he's mad at me. Give me my breakfast and my walk, please, thank you. All right, I've been editing all day. I've been just, been a long day and now it's, Six, 546, <laughs> I just got it myself an extra 15 minutes. But I don't, if you watched my last main channel video, this door latch thing, I got to keep the dogs out, but let the cat in, it sucks. It's broken. We've had to, or I've had to like try and tape it. So I went online and I bought a different one. This one I think is a little more permanent. I think you can stick it to the door or whatever, but the cat likes that room and so do the dogs. So I'm gonna just try this. Ooh, it's an adjustable strap. I know about those. Here we go. Front door, back of the door. Oh, Abby's making dinner. Yeehaw. All right, let me see how to install this. Also, maybe I could one day learn camera angles, but that's asking a lot of me, especially since this is my job. Okay, pause on the cat door installation because while I've been working, Abby has taken it upon herself to strip this rug that used to be under our dining table. We realized you can go at it, baby. Oh, actually, I'm just gonna get in there. Oh, you're gonna get in there? Like with my hands. Oh, I think you're gonna like go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's foul. We realized the dogs had been peeing on this rug and I love this rug. My sister bought it for me when I was going through my breakup and it was like, I finally was gonna furnish my house myself and do what I wanted. So I bought this rug and it's recycled plastic. Oh God. And I didn't wanna just throw it away and Abby's like, I'll clean it for you. So this is, this is a lot. I know, don't judge me. It's really gross. It's probably pee and poop. Oh, judging because you're using your hands? Oh yeah. my, like, who's judging you for cleaning? Because it's really gross. Well, that's what washing your hands is for. But, this is a pro how long do you have to do this? Uh, four to six hours. And I'm gonna have a clean rug. I dumped an entire like the gallon of um, vinegar in there too, the whole thing. Does it smell good? Yes, I'd like to pee on it. Me too. All right, back to the cat installation thing. We're just getting things done in this house. Weekdays are for chores. Actually, I love a Saturday chore day. Those are my favorite, they bring me a lot of joy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this strap up a little higher for it eye height so that People see it. Wiped it down. Which side goes? Hold on. Let me figure it out. All right. It's in, oh, I didn't do that right. It's angled. It's whatever. It's fine. Ta-da. And then you can even close the door if you need to, but then you can open it and bloop. I feel like she could still get stuck in there. Well, we'll see how that works. All right, 
Tommy and I have had dinner. We've hung out. I was on the phone phone with the security company for an hour trying to fix my security system. My alarm works and I can see the cameras on my panel, but my app doesn't work. It's the whole thing. I have to call back tomorrow morning. It was an hour of on the freaking hold and talking to them and it didn't do anything. Anyway, um, I thought you guys would want to see this. We drained the bathtub. This is what the water looked like. We've drained it and now we're doing it. It's already been clean. We drained it. This is new water. Foul. Disgusting. And I talked about if we ever do this again, we should vacuum and then power wash it first and then strip it. Because I feel like the power washing will get rid of a huge chunk of time that we take just getting the loose dirt off. But yeah, it's almost, oh, there we go, 10 p.m. This is what we're doing. Tuesday night, baby. Don't worry, we already took the trash out. Are you helping? Abby gave her a bath and a blowout. You look fabulous, darling. Fabulous. Gross. A cup of Thai. Alright. What's this? I'm making it up. I made this part up. Abby's making it up. She doesn't use a recipe. Like she uses way. her brain. I like the way this smells. A scuba oxy? Yeah. OxyClean White Revive. The cleaner, not the drug. Don't do drugs, kids. It doesn't lead to anything good. And then I'm not measuring this. And then a bunch of, what's it supposed to be about? A borax. Borax. But laundry booster. Laundry booster borax. A sprinkle dinkle. This will be a third of a cup, but I'm just gonna pour as much as I want. Well, that's about a third. And yeah. Anything else? That's it. This is, I put this down the sink earlier. I would have put more vinegar in, but I used it all earlier. Oh yeah, she added vinegar the first round. Look how filthy it is. Blech. Blech. Gross. I love it. Hey, what are you eating? No. No. I don't know what it is, but no.